Welcome back to Catalyst University. My name is Kevin Tokoff, and in this video, we're going to be discussing the Smooth Pursuit Neck Torsion Test. This is one of the three major special tests that's used to rule in cervicogenic dizziness, but of course you'd only be doing that once you ruled out the other three major causes of dizziness, which would be BPPV, central vestibular deficit, and a peripheral hypofunction. In any case, to perform the Smooth Pursuit Neck Torsion Test, the patient will be positioned in seated, as you see right here. Now, this test is divided into three parts. The first one, which is where the neck is in neutral, you've seen before, especially if you've done the other components of the ocular motor exam. The PT is going to be performing the horizontal smooth pursuit test. Okay? We covered that in a previous video. I'm going to kind of gloss over it here. But the gist of it is that you're going to have the patient look at some small target, like the tip of this pen, and they're not going to move their head. They're just going to move their eyes as you move the pen back and forth. So it'll look like this, okay? So notice her head's not moving, it's just her eyes that are using Smooth Pursuit to track this target as it moves, okay? Now it's possible that the patient will report dizziness here or related symptoms. It's possible they may present with some nystagmus. There may be nothing, but before we come to any conclusions, we need to perform this test in two other positions where the neck is rotated 45 degrees to the left and 45 degrees to the right. Let's take a look at those. So right here, her neck is rotated 45 degrees to the left, and we just perform the same test. Horizontal smooth pursuit. Same thing. Then, once we're satisfied, we'll do the same thing with the neck rotated to the right. Horizontal smooth pursuit with the neck in 45 degrees of rotation to the right. And in all three of these positions, the PT will assess for nystagmus and the degree of that nystagmus, if present, and also listen for any subjective reports of dizziness or dizziness-related symptoms. And so what constitutes a positive smooth pursuit neck torsion test? Well, it's when there's increased nystagmus or a greater degree of dizziness or related symptoms in either of these rotated positions compared to the neutral position. And it just has to be one of the positions. It doesn't have to be both. So let's suppose that the left position here was okay, but for whatever reason in the right position, she reported that, oh, that dizziness was pretty bad. And so I would ask, was the dizziness worse than in the neutral position? And if it was, that is a positive test. It could also be true of the left rotated position. If the dizziness was worse here than it was in the neutral position, that is also a positive test. The nystagmus is kind of hard to catch, uh, so I usually just assess dizziness symptoms and, and call that for a positive or negative test. If the degree of dizziness in these rotated positions is the same as it is in the neutral position, that is a negative test and you need to dive in further and investigate further to figure out what's going on with their dizziness. So hopefully this video gave you a good understanding of the Smooth Pursuit Neck Torsion Test. Make sure to like this video, subscribe to my channel, and hit that notification button for notifications for all videos in the future. Thank you so much for watching this video.